Okay, back uh, for round one. As you can see, this is a clear mulligan. We cannot keep a one lander with only planes. Oh, this is much better. So I'm pretty happy. This is uh, the kind of hand that I think we want to see out of our deck. Certainly not mulliganing it, ever. And let's see what our opponent has in store for us. All right, just a Rakdos Guild Gate, not a big deal. Turn and burn. <laughs> the Only the optimal draw, that's okay. Okay, looks like our opponent's some kind of Rakdos deck, which this hand probably, you know, is pretty good against. Ah, uh, the old Bellows Lizard, huh? All right. Is he going to put the enchantment on the wizard? Ah, he did put the enchantment on the wizard. Very nice. All right, well, I think our clear play here, then, if he is enchanting the lizard, is to just play this Tithe Drinker and attempt to block. Um, I like that we will gain life in that, uh, you know, if that, if that happens. And the Syndic of Tithe is a 2-2. Two -two. It's probably going to be a little bit better later on, just that it's a lot, you know, it's a lot more difficult to kill. And if he's playing cards like Bella's Lizard in his deck, uh, it's, you know, he probably has some other small guys where, you know, a double or triple block is going to be much, much better with a Syndic. Uh, plus, I do kind of want to, you know, gain some life here if possible on this block. Uh, it's also possible that if he attacks, I may just take it and just crack back with my Tithe Drinker, which would make Tithe Drinker significantly better to have in play. Um, I also like that the Drinker is good enough where if he has a removal spell here, he probably wastes it which um, is something that I, that I want. We want to get removal spells out of his hand whenever possible. So he just slams with the guy. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to block. If he gives a trample, that's more than fine with us. If he like does something like uh, roll out Makazit or something, that's also f totally fine. Let him have his Bellows Lizard. Sure, man. I guess he's pumping it up, not realizing that his guy does not have trample. Sure. I'm at 22. <laughs> I don't think that's how our opponent thought that that was going to go down. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think he expected that. Um, that's okay though. I think an, another reason um, that we played Tight Drinker instead of Syndic was in this situation, in case we drew an island. So now we can cast Pilfered Plans, targeting ourselves again. Why we're targeting ourselves because we have an Obsidian Aids in our deck which might you know, be relevant if we hit something good, we can get it back later. And since he's playing black cards, he could have scavengers, and we really just don't want to you know, lose by you know, throwing a bunch of cheap scavenge guys in his graveyard and then having him just kill us with the cards we give him. So here I'm going to play Pilfered Plans because it uses our mana really well. It's going to enable us next turn to either cast Cluestone plus Syndic if we can draw a land here, um, or maybe even Syndic plus another two drop. So I, I like Pilfering. You know, getting on the board right now with Syndic doesn't do a whole lot. So we targeted ourselves, we hit a Mental Vapors, and a Lavinia of the 10th. Well, it would have been nice to draw that Lavinia, but uh, <laughs> one of the things about Random Mill is that, as you may have guessed, it's very random. And uh, sometimes you're going to hit a good one, sometimes you're going to hit a bad one. And in that time it didn't work out great, but uh, I think it's still the correct play when you're playing against a uh, you know aggressive black deck that can easily just have some scavenge creatures. All right, our opponent is doing nothing, which is always good. I think we can expect him to be on some form of removal spell here, given that he's doing absolutely nothing. Um, I'm just simply going to play a key rune and a syndic and just pass. Uh, I want to save the Azorius Arrester for later, uh, when its detainability is going to be relevant. And Syndic uh, is just, you know, to, as an extorter, is going to be pretty strong in the meantime. Um, what does he have here? Anything good? Nightwatch, no. <laughs> the answer to anything good was no. He did, he did not have anything good. He had Nightwatch. I don't know how much our opponent has actually played this format. It seems like he's playing a lot of pretty underpowered cards with like Bellows Lizard, Deviant Glee, Splash, Nightwatch. Uh, so I'm I'm not uh, I'm not real 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 impressed with what he's doing here. Um, I think our play here is just real easy. Just gonna play the Clue Stone. Uh, we can play the Clue Stone, 
and just extort, leaving up dispel. And I don't think we're really that worried about the knights right now. We're already at 23, so I'm not overly concerned with these knights. Fire Fist Striker. Okay, now that's a guy that concerns me slightly. That is a guy that will get, perhaps may get Orzov Charmed here. A Gutter Skulk, sure. Hmm. So, okay, didn't even attack. That seems very odd. Um, here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play the Arrester, target, targeting Fire Fist Striker, extort, and then we can attack with our key rune as well, I believe, right? Because we can pay for this like this. The question is, do we want to leave up Orsov Charm? I don't think so. I don't necessarily think it matters. Uh, he might have another enchantment, but he probably would have used it. Let me think. Yeah, you know what? We can leave Kirun back for now and just go ahead and play this extorting. Take him to 18, us to 24. Go ahead and detain the Fire Fist Striker. And this way we have access to Dispel, uh, Turn, and uh, potentially Orsov Charm. Certainly not attacking with our Syndic into his mediocre crew. Uh, I don't know why he's not attacking us here. It seems like last turn attacking with both Knights would have been excellent, as I almost certainly would not have blocked with Syndic of Tithes. Trading it for a Knight token seems pretty bad. Um, so we'll, we'll see what he has here. Blocking with Azorius Arrestor is something I'm completely fine with, though. Um, I Initially, I put him on having some kind of removal spells in his hand, but since he's not really doing anything, and he's not really using anything like that, uh, it's possible he could have, like, maybe an Angelic Edict would be an option. Maybe he just doesn't want to Edict away anything I have. Uh, here come the attacks, okay. The Skulk is coming in. Um, I think in this spot, since I actually have an Orzhov Charm in my hand that can deal with any larger creatures, um, I think what I'm going to do is actually block both knights, uh, turn uh, the knight that's being blocked by Syndic of Tithes, and just trade the Arrestor for the other one. This will leave him without Battalion for his Fire Fist Striker, and I'll still have this spell up, as well as uh, an Orsov Charm to deal with any follow-ups. The reason we're blocking the tokens is because he could have some kind of Populate card. Gutter Skulk's not really going to do much in the late game, but if he has any sort of Populate effect, these Knights are going to be pretty annoying, so we'll go ahead and just block. And we'll turn one of them, the one being blocked by that by the Syndic. And uh, we still have the Dispel. If it becomes necessary, we are not extorting. So we'll turn that guy. He's a weird... All right, cool. Kept up the Dispel, it panned out. Okay, well, this is pretty cool. So we actually get to make the play that I mentioned earlier which is activate the key rune and play the last thoughts we'll see if he has some form of removal I do have a dispel handy so that's kinda nice now nah, we're not gonna we're gonna play the last thoughts uh, get some card advantage going encode it to our Azorius key rune And here we have the option of attacking for two, or just, uh, let's see. Well, since we drew an island, it's actually perfect, right? Because we can play the island, and now we can hold up the spell. So we're going to attack. We can hit, draw a card. If he goes to kill it now, it's going to be pretty strange, because I think he probably should have done it before we encoded. But uh, we'll see. 
we'll see what he's got. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> for those of you guys who have played a lot of Return to Ravnica, you can probably tell that our opponent's deck is something of a mess. I mean, our deck is certainly not, you know, stellar. I think it's it's a, it's a reasonable but not great deck. His deck's pretty poor, though. Yeah, we are dispelling that Eyes in the Skies so quickly that you, you can't... It'll make your head spin. We cannot... Okay. He, he frustratingly concedes at 18 to an Azorius Key Rune after getting his Eyes in the Skies dispelled. All right. I mean, that's definitely a legal maneuver. Hmm. Here, I think we're good. I, I don't really want to change anything. So we'll just go ahead and submit it.